Do you stress about the same thing over and over and over again? Like you have these themes, these things. You know, for some people, it may be money or it could be their health or it could be their kids. Uh, for other people, it could be what other people are thinking of them or why hasn't that person called me called me back or, you know, what's going on over there or in that other person land and they're all worried about what other people think about them and what's going on. Well, I'm here to tell you that these things that stress us out are not necessarily what's going on outside of us and that we all have our own pre-programmed stress themes. And unless you understand what your theme is, you'll get hijacked by these themes time and time again. The little triggers that happen will take you away from your happy, amazing life. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to discover your stress themes and what to do with them when you do. This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you could be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from being stressed out to in the flow, flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise. And I am your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. All right, so if you've been listening to me for any time at all, then you know that I'm going to be talking to you today about your internal guidance system. And if you're new to this program, please go and feel your own personal internal guidance system for yourself. You were born with it. It came factory installed. And what I do is I teach people how to use it. You can learn about it at zeninamoment.com where there's a simple little video that's free on the homepage. You don't even have to give me your email address. And you can feel your IGS so you understand what I'm talking about. All right, so when you're born, your mind begins to accumulate information. And it begins to try to adapt to the world around it as a baby. Some say that it even happens pre, pre-birth, that while we're in the womb, we're collecting information about the environment around us to make us safe and so that we'll be able to fit in. And so much of what you have that's a stress theme are things that you watched the people around you stress about. Your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, the people in the world around you, what they were freaked out about will freak you out. So let's say your mom comes in and she's just outside watering flowers and she's talking about how the neighbors don't like her and how this neighbor really doesn't like her and always snubs her and doesn't say hi. Well, what may happen for you is that you will move into a place in your life in the future where you'll kind of be looking around for who doesn't like you, that there's always somebody out there that doesn't like you and there are particular aspects or things that people do that mean for sure they don't like you. For other people, it could be money. I know in my household, we had one income, and that income came in once a month. So by the end of the month, we were really, really tight, and things would happen like big fights around bouncing checks for grocery bills and and not having enough money at the end of the month to do much of anything. And then the first of the month, we'd be flush with cash, and we'd have that box of cereal that we always wanted and all kinds of good stuff. And by the end of the month, we were scraping by again. And so I had to break my own stress around lean times, that there was a feast or famine kind of energy, and that that was the thing that I stressed out about and being worried about that, storing up for the future. So here's the thing. Your stress is 100% and completely unique to you, and you collected it from the world around you. Now, yes, there are experiences that you had later in life, in junior high, in high school, in college, and at work, and different places and ways in which you've collected other forms of stress along the way that are like PTSD. They get triggered when certain things happen, and they pop back up. But in general, you'll notice that you'll stress about things over and over again, no matter how much money you have there's still this undercurrent of stress about money. You could be perfectly fine, but there's still this undercurrent. Why is that? Well, because our mind doesn't have a way of updating the information of what is true for us today, but your internal guidance system does. And so when you feel stress, what that actually is, is your internal guidance system letting you know in the moment by having a tight feeling in your throat, a tight feeling in your chest, or a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach where you're solar plex comes together, the top of your stomach area there. That's letting you know that what you're thinking in the moment is almost never true. And the scenario that your mind is playing will almost never happen. And even if it were to happen, it will not be the dire consequences that your mind is generating because that tight, closed feeling means that what you're thinking is not true. But that doesn't mean that those habitual themes will go away. Now, why is that? It's because you have to do a pattern interrupt using your nervous system. 
literally you have to do a pattern interrupt on the stress before it hijacks you. And the way that you start by doing that is by stopping in the moment. As soon as you feel anxiety, worry, fear, overwhelm, uh, any of those sensations of stress, this can also be with frustration and irritation as well, you want to stop in the moment, feel the bottom of your feet. It's very important to become present with your body. If you haven't listened to my podcast on doing a listening practice and being present, please do because it's an excellent way for you to become present in the moment is through your senses. So just feel the bottom of your feet. You feel the palms of your hands. You listen to the room around you while you're feeling your feet and your hands. And that starts the pattern interrupt on the stressful moment. I also like to take a deep breath, but you don't have to. And then what you do is you hold the thought, I'm closed. That means what I'm thinking is not true or not going to happen. I'm closed. That means what I'm thinking is not true or not going to happen. Now, what you'll notice is, is there'll be a lightning feeling in your, between your throat and your upper solar plex area. What you now have done is you have activated the nervous system response to that stress, and your body will begin to understand that that stress theme is not true for you now in this moment here today. And what will happen is, is in a very short period of time, your mind will stop being able to produce that and also at the same time buy into it. Now, I know that may sound like you might have a schizophrenic brain then, but the truth of the matter is that's exactly what starts happening. Your brain goes, wait a minute, I'm producing this thought, this habitual addictive thought, which is the stress, the theme that's running about money or your health or other people or your kids or whatever it is, how you're doing at work, whether you're loved, abandonment, all the stuff that comes up for us. And at the same time, your body will be going no, this isn't true for me. It's in the no, it isn't true for me that the pattern interrupt happens. And what you'll find is that in a very short period of time, within a few weeks to a couple of months, that sounds like a long time, but think about how long you've been living with this stress, man. What you'll find is that that pattern interrupt begins to take over. And those thoughts will come in and evaporate as fast as they came in. They'll no longer hijack you. They'll no longer run in the background. They won't cause that on edge sensation or that depression. I'm going to talk next about stress defenses in the next podcast because we all have stress defenses of where we go when these habitual stress themes pop up. And you need to recognize that because very often it, that's what hijacks us is our stress defenses where we go when we're stressed. But for now, what will happen is, is it'll begin to evaporate and you'll find that you'll get yourself right back on track quicker. And in a very short period of time, your stress themes will literally begin to evaporate. That's right. Your stress themes will begin to evaporate. You will no longer be encoded for the stress that you inherited from your youth. And what happens when that occurs is there is a sense of well-being, a sense of purpose, a sense of joy that begins to be more pervasive in your life. You begin to feel more patient you show up more authentically with the people that you care about in your life. You don't mind so much if somebody cuts you off on the freeway or doesn't jump off the line because they're checking their phone when the light turns green. And you have a tendency to be, sleep better and be more quick-witted and have a better sense of humor. Wow, doesn't that all sound like amazing, amazing, amazing things? So I can't encourage you enough to use the phrase, when you're feeling overwhelmed, stressed, worry, fear, anxiety, overwhelm, procrastination, irritation, frustration, any of those things that show up in your body as a tight sensation that winds you up, I'm closed. That means what I'm thinking is not true and is not going to happen. What I'm thinking is not true and not going to happen. And let the opening begin for the pattern interrupt to stop those. All right, you can find out more about me and my programs at zeninamoment.com. We have some extraordinary online courses with group coaching that I do, working with you one-on-one -on -one in a group setting. The Stress to Happiness Makeover is one of them that I highly encourage you if you want to have all those things that I just mentioned a few minutes ago, all of the well-being and joy and openness, as well as being on your life's purpose and divinely guided moment to moment. You're welcome to come work with me in the Stress to Happiness Makeover program. And I also have other programs there, such as the Art of Quantum Miracles, which is all about using your IGS as well as your divine gifts to get your life going in the exact place and direction you want it to. In the meantime, please share. Sharing is caring. I would love, love, love if you would spread the word about this podcast so we have more people that can begin to use their internal guidance system to create more joy and happiness in their lives. Until we get to be together again, I am sending you love and blessings. <laughs>